I was surprisingly calm, to be honest. I was very, uh, I was just doing everything so methodically, I think, right throughout the whole week. I kept kept thinking that, I mean, there's one more match I need to win, there's one more match I need to win. So I was just trying to keep a good composure. I had a very good night's sleep, I remember. Of course, I was I kept thinking about the match, but yeah, woke up, went to the courts, and next thing you know, I was lifting the trophy. Gregor Dimitrov's won six career titles. He's halfway towards the biggest of his career to date. I remember on the first match point, I was just, I missed the first serve, and I was thinking, just please, like, just make it over the net. That's all you gotta do. Like, I felt like my shoulder was getting so heavy. And then I double folded, I was like, no, not again. But I had a good first serve this rally, and next thing you know, the ball stops in the net. I couldn't even like react, it was just that that surreal. The crowd was clapping and everybody in my team on the side were, were, were just so happy and I just felt that appreciation, I guess, yeah, for winning that title. <laughs> you realize these things way, way later than you should and the next thing you know is that you have to actually compete again the next week so there's not much time for you to celebrate or to appreciate it or to have time to rest or any of that. So for me it was, I think, even way more special after that. I think this is when it, it really hit me. Dimitrov claims his first Masters 1000 title of his career. It's a return to the world's top 10 for the Bulgarian.